In this demo, we will use the camera board accessory for the Raspberry Pi. We will demonstrate how to capture images, and we will use MATLAB to search for faces in the images that we capture. With the power to the board disconnected, the first step is to connect your camera board. It connects to the CSI connector on the Raspberry Pi. Make sure the blue part of the ribbon is facing the Ethernet connector. Once you have made your connections, turn the board back on. We will now jump into MATLAB to start working with the device. The first step is to create a connection to your Raspberry Pi. We do this by typing mypi equals raspy. You will see that MATLAB tells us that we have a Raspberry Pi connected at this particular device address. It shows us the name of the board, it shows us the available digital pins, and it also shows us the available I squared C buses and the I squared C bus speed. Now, to create a connection to the camera, we use CAM equals camera board, and we pass it MyPi, which is the Raspberry Pi object, as well as some optional parameters. In this case, I'm going to pass it a resolution of 1280 by 720. Now, MATLAB has created the camera board object, and it shows we have a bunch of different uh, properties that can be set um, directly here from MATLAB that have to do with the camera board. So you can see the resolution there that we set has been included. Um, there are various parameters having to do with the orientation of the image. Um, there are picture settings, such as brightness and contrast. So supposing we wanted to change the brightness, we could do that uh, at the command line by taking, typing CAM and then dot brightness equals, and we'll say 70. And you'll see now, the picture settings show a brightness of 70. So similarly, we could change the camera exposure mode um, from auto to night, for example, because you, you can see here that if we view the available exposure modes, auto, night, night preview, backlight are all available. So let me just show you how you would do that. So you would type cam dot exposure mode equals night. And when you do that, you would then be able to change that parameter to night. And you see it's reflected in your camera board object. OK, so how do we actually take a picture? So to take a picture, we type a name for the variable, we'll say image, and we type snapshot. That's the command that MATLAB provides uh, for you to take an image. And then we pass it camera. So if I do that, let's see what happens. Well, MATLAB shows me all the data in the image, which isn't too interesting unless you can understand all that data. But there's a way to get around that. You can actually suppress that. What we really want is to view that image. So if I, what I should have done in that last line is I should have put a semicolon here, and then it would have taken the image without showing me that. But if we want to display the image, we use a function called image sc, and then we pass it the image. So if I do that, you can actually see that the camera is actually looking up at the ceiling here in the webinar studio, and you're seeing one of the lights. OK, now I'm going to restore uh, the camera to its original setting so that we don't have the uh, night exposure so that we can actually do some face detection using the camera board. To show this next part, I'm going to open up this function called collect and detect in the editor window. And all this is is a loop uh, that will collect images from the camera board uh, 50 times. Uh, so there's basically a for loop, goes from 1 to 50, and then we use that snapshot command that we just uh, illustrated earlier. And then it runs 
an algorithm called detect face on the image, and it will try to detect a face. So let me run that and see if we can detect some faces. And you can see now that we're gathering the images in a loop, and MATLAB is drawing a box around my face. So indeed, we are running the algorithm and detecting the faces. OK, so how do we do the face detection? I'm going to open one other script, which is really a function here. This function called detect face is doing all of the algorithm for actually detecting the face. Um, and it is comprised of only four lines of code. It takes advantage of the computer vision system toolbox. Uh, and this cascade object detector is what's doing uh, the work of detecting the face. You could also detect eyes and, and other uh, parameters as well. OK, to summarize, we just demonstrated how you can create a connection to your Raspberry Pi and to the camera board peripheral. You can change and view camera settings, and you can easily acquire images into the MATLAB workspace. You can use the snapshot command in a loop to acquire video, and you can use the computer vision algorithms to detect faces. OK, now we are ready to start working with some other sensors that can be connected to your Raspberry Pi.